What do you say when someone asks you, what do you do? What you say to them is important because you're not there to tell them, you know, how great you are, or all about your successes with past clients, even though that sounds great to you and it might be a first reaction. Instead, as a coach, you're also an archaeologist digging for clues about where the potential client's pain is. Every minute counts. Sure, spend 30, 60 seconds on yourself. You know, I'm a niche coach that helps people, you know, insert action, results, benefit to the client. But what I'm always on the lookout for is people who I can help. They spend so much time wasting time, energy, money, etc. There's no need for that. That's what I do. Who do you know that fits that description? Or am I talking to just that person right now? Whatever their pain is, that's their hot button and yours for hiring you as a coach. When you're out networking, socializing, or meeting anyone new, you are going to get asked this question. Be prepared with a short answer so that others will instantly understand what you are about and how you can help them. Your elevator speech should evoke the type of response like, hmm, tell me more, or give me your card. I have someone I want you to talk to. This is the first step to generating a referral effortlessly every time you say, hello. Just as you prepared your ideal client profile statement, one of the best ways to answer, what do you do, is to reply with a fact-filled question in return such as let's say someone asks you the million dollar question hi what do you do the coach responds with well you know how so many people today suffer from XYZ fill in the blank they're always looking for solutions to the problem describe this in detail with your niche they need help in etc fill in the blank but they don't know who or where to turn to for help the person who asked the million dollar question might say yeah yeah that's true you the coach responds with well I'm that person they turn to when people need help with this or that over here this problem XYZ they call me and I help them do you know anyone who fits that description the person who asked the million dollar question might respond with, wow, I can think of three people right now who need your help. And they would go on to describe the problems that these people have. Or they might respond with, wow, where do I sign up? I've been looking for someone like that to help me. How much do you charge? And then never talk about price up front. Stick to your services. And benefits and talking more about the problem you're digging for gold and gems and silver in their heart and in their situation does the archaeologist digging for all the artifacts is he really worried about rushing back to the museum to say look what I found please cash me in no the archaeologist slows down even more takes their time brushing away tiny little particles of sand and dirt and rock not to upset what they're working on. This is the same concept, the same approach. Slow down, take in what you're discussing with this individual. They may be your potential client or they may be right in front of them because they're going to refer someone to you. So go slowly when having these discussions remember finding clients is more than just marketing and saying your elevator speech and all that stuff it's about archaeology emotional excavation now if this is a financial discussion you're a financial archaeologist if this is about weight loss or getting in shape getting fit then you're a fitness archaeologist whatever your niche coach is just put that right before archaeologist and then start digging carefully and only when you dig up the artifacts what do you do they put them in a tray they label them they identify them
They take good care of them. And then the long journey back to the laboratory to investigate what they've got. They're still in excavation mode, even though they've left the digging site. Only later do they say, wow, how much is all of this worth? Because they can actually then spend time analyzing what they've got. The same with a client. After you've analyzed to yourself what you've got in front of you or on the phone, you can then say, you know, based upon our discussions, I think package number B would be perfect for you. It's the right amount of time. It covers the right kind of training and education and material guidance and learning. And it's at the right price for you. So when do you want to get started? Hey, here's your homework for this section. Create your own response to the million dollar question. What do you do? Hone it, perfect it. Also, get feedback from those close to you, colleagues in the business, your own professional coach that you hired, remember? And see what their reaction is. Good, bad, great. Hey, this needs a little work. Uh, back to the drawing board. But keep working at it. You will get it down. And then test your responses in public with your clients and perfect strangers who might be your potential clients, networking events, etc. Customize and then adjust your response to those who ask you the million dollar question, what do you do?